The CN Tower, standing at 1,815 feet high, is the tallest freestanding structure in the Western Hemisphere. It's a famous symbol of Toronto and Canada. You can go up and see the city from high above. Sometimes it's busy, but it's the highest you can go without a helicopter. There is a 360-degree view in area and a glass floor where you can look down to the street. If there is a baseball game, you can watch from above, but the players will look like tiny blue dots. There is also a restaurant and an exciting edge walk where you can walk around the edge of the tower. It's surprising that a city as large as Toronto has one of the few castles in Canada. Well, it might not be a true castle, but it definitely appears that way. This mansion was built in the Gothic Revival style in 1911 by fanciest Sir Henry Pallet. It's not as far from downtown Toronto and provides a lovely view of the city, even the CN Tower. Inside, there's a museum and it's often used to filming movies and TV shows. To enjoy Toronto's beautiful skyline, take a cruise along the harbour. This is also a fantastic way to explore the Toronto Islands, a group of small islands in Lake Ontario. These islands offer some activities for both locals and visitors, like hiking, picnics, beaches and yacht clubs. There is even the Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport there. You can also visit Santaville Amusement Park and try various Toronto's activities. All of this combines to create the largest cough-free community in North America. The Royal Ontario Museum is Canada's biggest museum and one of the largest in North America. Inside, you'll find art, items from around the world and natural history displays. With over 6 million things to see across 40 galleries, a full day is ideal if you want to explore everything. But you can also just visit a few galleries from a couple of hours. They have impressive collections like dinosaurs, minerals, African art, European and Canadian history. Plus, it's Canada's largest place for field research. This enormous art museum covers 480,000 square feet and holds about 95,000 artworks from the past century to today. It's one of the biggest galleries in North America and has important collections of Canadian, Renaissance, Baroque, European and African art, as well as modern and contemporary pieces. There's also photography, sculptures and various types of art, like miniatures, frames, books, film, video art, installations and architecture. Inside, there's a restaurant, cafe, espresso bar, research center, event space and a special hand-on center where you can interact with art. They even have a gift shop designed by Henry. The Art Gallery of Ontario is the second most visited museum after Toronto's Royal Ontario Museum. The stunning building of Hockey Hall of Fame holds this place about players, teams, NHL records, items like memorabilia and trophies, including a replica of the Stanley Cup. You can even join interactive games to shoot pucks and play. If you are not a hockey fan, this might not be your thing, but for winter sport enthusiasts, this one-of-kind museum is a must-see. Back in 2012, National Geographic named St. Lawrence Market the world's best food market. So you already know what to expect here. Situated in Toronto's Old Town District, the market gives you a peek into the city's past while offering various delicious options to satisfy your taste buds. There are food stalls, restaurants, and a farmer's market selling fresh produce, meats, and cheeses. Don't miss Toronto's official bacon sandwich. Alongside the tasty treats, you'll find arts and crepe vendors, plus the market gallery featuring changing exhibitions about Toronto's history, arts and culture. Close to St. Lawrence Market, the Distillery District is a historical part of Toronto, with rivers, restaurants, bars and shops. Tourists love it for the lovely brick buildings. The 30 art area has over 40 heritage buildings, making it the biggest gathering of Victorian-era industrial architecture in North America. It got recognized as a National Historic Site of Canada in 1988. Contrary to St. Lawrence Market's indoor setup, Kensington Market is a diverse neighborhood and one of Toronto's most famous. This area has an outdoor market that's partially covered and is among the city's most photographed spots. A lot of the neighborhood's diverse shops, cafes and attractions are on streets like Augusta Avenue, Nossa Street, Baldwin Street and Kensington Avenue. Apart from great restaurants and interesting shopping, surprises abound.